People have been asking me for an update on Young Thug and Gunna. So Young Thug was recently denied bond for the third time in the last few weeks here. Thug is involved in a YSL Rico case. His label has been deemed a threat to Georgia. So they've been pretty much the whole team has been incarcerated for the last couple months here as they be get ready for trial. So here's the update for anybody that's asking out there. There have been reports of witnesses being put into protective custody because of leaks online. I have pretty much there have been reports out there that it is a witness that is going to testify against Young Thug and some other members of YSL, but is his or her information's leaked out online. And obviously for a lot of reasons, that's problematic. Here's where things get interesting, all right? Both sides, the prosecution and the defense, which is Young Thug, they both think that the leak favors their side. So I wanna start with the district attorney, uh, Mrs. Fannie Willis, the lady you've seen that's been putting everybody away on RICO cases in Georgia recently. Here's how she sees it. She first said this recently, we're having to ask for further restrictions, making it even more clear that this is inappropriate to share information with the general public. We're going to have to do things to make sure that the witnesses are safe. We need people to understand that they can cooperate, they can do the right thing, and the state will be here to protect them. And here is Young Thug's attorney, one of them at least, Mr. Brian Steele. He said, whoever is placing items of discovery on the line is not doing anybody a favor. It's totally inappropriate to try this case on social media. The case will be tried fairly and justly in Fulton County Superior Court. So you kind of see what I'm saying here. Both of them agree that putting witnesses information online is dangerous, but it's kind of two sides of the agreement, right? The DA is like, look, this is just showing you how dangerous young thugs YSL crew is. They're a gang, I tell you, they're a gang. Young Thug Defense, Brian Steele and company are saying, how are we gonna get a fair trial when we got leaks coming out? You know what I mean? Like this just shows you that th there's been some mishaps on the state side. So th both sides think that this is going to help them in a lot of ways. They think it's dangerous, but both sides are gonna try to use it to their advantage. Thug's team's gonna try to get a mistrial. They're like, yo, the, the juries are gonna be tainted because this, there's information out there that Thug's team scaring away witnesses. That's not good for Thug in his case, right? The DA is gonna say, yo, no, this is just more information. The prosecutor's gonna say, this is just more reasoning to keep him locked up. So both sides believe that this is very dangerous, that there's reports of witness tampering, whatever you wanna call it. They're also gonna still try to find ways to use it in their favor. Speaking of Thug, though he's locked up, his Twitter account's been doing some tweeting. And I can't say that it's Young Thug, but his Twitter account's been doing some tweeting and some IG posting. So randomly, Young Thug put this up online the other day, or his account did rather. He said, I'm talking with my roommate and we're wondering if you could swim 100 miles from the middle of the ocean back to shore. And he asked the question to Michael Phelps, one of the greatest, if not the greatest swimmers of all time. And how about Michael Phelps responding to Thug? Yeah, I think I could make it, said Michael Phelps. Okay, this fan mentioned both of them and i agree totally with the fan this is how i felt about this only on twitter can you see young thug have a conversation with michael phelps while thug is locked up and not supposed to be on the phone this app is different 100 i agree with you thug didn't stop on twitter he went over to ig and offered his services up to kanye specifically his land for those who don't know i believe last birthday thug got like 100 acres of land he offered them up to yay who's always doing something he said i got over 100 acres for you yay However many you need, they are yours free of charge on God. Thug's like, I can't do nothing with the land right now. You might as well do something with it. And how about Kanye posting on his social media account uh, a text message exchange between him and ASAP Barty, Barry, who said, we got to get Thug out of jail. And Ye said he just sent this information over to Kim. For those who don't know, Kanye's pretty much ex-wife Kim Kardashian has been involved in getting many black people either out of prison or things within their prison sentences adjusted all right so yay's like yo i'm gonna send this information over to kim and see what she could do i think it'll be very difficult because this wouldn't be like kim talking to the president of the united states this would be kim working some strings with the state of georgia it would be different i don't think the state of georgia is going to care as much as maybe like donald trump did about kim kardashian trying to get into their affairs you can never go wrong with billionaires trying to help you out though so y'all let me know 
what y'all think about this young thug uh rico case all together again that's the update best i got it right now um thug's been denied bond for a third time him and Gunner, alongside most of ysl they remain in prison right now and until trial that's the update wishing all parties the best of luck i want to thank you guys so much time love and support it's what your boy will never take for granted around here i'm out